could be it. Charlie, what are these guys doing for you today? Uh, they're kind of sanding the lanes down to get them nice and even again, and they're going to put a coating on it to protect them and refinish the approaches too. Uh, make them more evenly playable, for, especially for the people that loft their balls and make little dents in them. Well, we're talking to Fred Evenson of Altawood Floors Incorporated. Fred, can you just kind of tell me about what you're doing here today? We are recoating the lanes, which is a yearly maintenance procedure that most bowling centers do. Uh, we'll apply uh, one coat of 100% solid urethane on the lanes and one coat of uh, acrylic urethane on the approaches. Okay. And how often do you run around and do this kind of stuff, by the way? Yearly. Most yearly. centers will have work done you know, once a year. Typically, the summer months are the, the time of year that most centers will have the work done. We hit the, the lanes with a, a three-wheel machine. It's a uh, like an 18-inch random random orbital sander, okay. uh, and did that with an 80 grit screen. And the, the approaches are hit with a 60 grit screen. So we uh, prep the floor or the surface uh, just to get a good mechanical bond for our coatings. Okay. And then the, the coatings will go down and tomorrow. We'll and then, what about the uh, the glow surface? Um, is that an application we'll put on too? Yes, yep. That uh, ultraviolet agent is added in the finish and it just goes on the lane. So under a black light, uh, it illuminates. Charlie! Charlie, what's the story with this picture? Uh, pictures from 1924. It's the old two lane bowling alley in Newport. Somebody brought that in, huh? Somebody brought it in from Albany and said it was their great grandfather. It was one of them in the photo, and that's what it looked like in 1924. What about the bowling ball? The bowling ball is uh, early 1900, somewhere between 1900 and 1905 in upstate New York, and it's donated by Mark Campbell, the owner of Crestview Hills Golf Course in Walport. And it's made out of wood, and wood type is ironwood. Back then they only had two holes in balls, one huh. for a finger and one for a thumb. 